Hello everybody, my name is Jemmy. Hi, I'm Afi. And today we're going to be giving you a brief overview on OBS. We're going to show you how to record with OBS, how to stream with OBS, and the basics of OBS. And also, you might not be able to see us right now because we don't want to use the webcam function inside of OCAM, which we're recording right now with. Uh, because we're going to be using the webcam function inside of OBS itself. Yep. So yeah, that's why you aren't seeing us right now. But anyways, let's go. Mm -hmm. So first off, what we want to do is open a, a file explorer. This is my OBS Studios. Um, I uninstalled it so it'll be fresh and new. So what we want to do is first is we want to install OBS, right? Right. <laughs> okay, so we want to open any uh, search engine Right now, we're going to be using Google Chrome. Um, you can use any of them, but um, yeah. So we can, so we can uh, go into obsproject.com like this. Click enter, obsproject.com. Choose your OS. I will be using Windows. So click on there, um, and they'll automatically download for you. Don't worry, this is not a scam. obsproject.com is 100% legit. If you search up like OBS downloads like this, uh, then some of it might be a scam, like this one maybe. Uh, this one is not the official OBS website, so it might be scamming you. But uh, to make sure that you're not getting scammed, download from obsproject.com. Um, Slash welcome. Yeah, and once you're done installing it, click on this little icon over here. Yep. And once you did that, it should ask you if you want to uh, make changes to your device. Hit yes. It's not going to really change anything. Yeah, and then click next next install. install and then make sure you have some room on your uh, computer because if you don't then it won't install uh, all of its functions since it doesn't have enough room and sometimes it even comes up an error so yeah make sure you have some room yep okay once you did this take this mess take this checkbox if it's not ticked yet tick it click finish and once it's done mm -hmm. uh, I will be using this for recording so I will do optimize for recording. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I did this with my previous um, previous OBS uh, settings, and you can see that I stream uh, I stream pretty good too. So it doesn't really affect much. But just take this middle point anyways. Click next, and uh, then just click next one more time. And this is some details of your computer. Apply settings, and here you are. So this is the page you should be looking at. Uh, so we can see here that this is the microphone, right? Hello! Yeah, uh, but anyways, it's a bit too loud, so I'm going to move it down a little bit. Uh, this is, this microphone thing right here Woo! is your microphone volume, and, uh, right now, it's a bit too loud for my personal liking, so, uh, usually I would push it down to around over here, and I would, uh, and after that, it will be more controlled, and if it's too soft, I'll just adjust it in my editing software, which is Premiere Pro. Woo! <laughs> Why? Okay, but anyways, once you did that with your microphone, uh, you shouldn't get past this red line over here. This is just too loud. Um, but yeah, once you... <laughs> what is Trying that? Trying to get past the red line. Stop. Okay, once you did that, the first thing you want to do is to look at the sources right here. Uh, this source is uh, to all the assets that you need to record. So... Like, usually I would have my webcam and my uh, display, right? So if we want to add a display capture, then we click on this plus right here, plus display capture, and then just name it whatever you want. I'll just, uh, I'll leave it as the display capture because it's pretty good already. Click OK, and then um, click OK one more time. Also, there's this yellow, yellow uh, border here. Uh, there is a way to fix that. Click on here. Oh, click on display capture and then click on well you probably won't see the yellow border uh, on the YouTube video because it's actually not there but if you did what I did there should be a yellow border uh, there is a way to fix this though um, so click on display capture click on properties click on automatic and change it to DXGI desktop duplication and now the yellow border should be gone however if uh, you might not if it doesn't really fix your problem I recommend you search it up in the internet because one time I did this and it didn't work but I uh, followed the internet's guide you have to go into like some settings in Windows or something but yeah you should be able to fix it from then on okay yeah look You're, at your mouse it's so cool it's yeah it's a it's an infinite screen it's pretty cool but now we're gonna be adding our webcam so click on the plus sign again 
and then click on uh where is it video capture device then name it whatever you want i'm going to name this webcam uh click okay and then uh our oh uh, here we are hello let me comb my hair a little <laughs> Uh, so uh, yeah this is the webcam that you can be using so we're going to be using USB video device sorry um, and we click OK and here we are so uh, here's me and Afi or Afi and I no wait me and Afi right no Afi and me Afi and me check up on your grammar facts Afi and me because if I said here's me or here's I here's me right yeah, so happy and me. <laughs> okay, so anyways, we, you can see that we have a green screen behind us, and I'll show you how to chroma key too. So what you want to do if you if you have a green screen in here is what you click on your webcam, click on filters, then click on add, click on this plus sign in effect filters, and then click on chroma key, click OK, and it automatically sets it to green for you, but there is more multiple choices that we, magenta. we can choose um magenta is pink right yeah, and yeah, blue yeah. is just blue screen so uh and if you have like a uh, another color of uh screen then just click on custom but yeah we're going to be using green screen and the default is already really really good you can see that it cuts pretty good click close and there we go now we Wait. have our what if if we have a green screen we click magenta screen what will happen then it will just not green screen as well. Um, and uh, also, in order to crop something, like pretend uh, it went like this, right? Oh, I'm trying to microphone. I'm trying to like make it so that we like see unnecessary stuff. Yeah, like this, right? Pretend there's a little border here. Um, what we can do is we can click Alt, hold Alt, then we can drag it out, and it will just crop it for us. Crop me out. Crop me out. You can Bye. Crop it out like this, um, but we're not gonna be doing that today. No, I was gonna be out of existence. Okay, let me turn it back to where we were. Okay, so uh, I have quite a small webcam, but yeah, it fits both of us. Okay, try scooching a little. Okay, once we're done with this, what we want to do is we if we want to shrink it down, then we can just do this. It will shrink it down automatically. Make us huge. You can make it bigger too, like this. But I want it to pretty small, like so, so it doesn't plop much. Okay, now once we have the webcam down, I will be showing you the scenes uh, first. After that, we'll be showing I'll be showing you around on the controls. So the scenes uh, it's mostly used for streaming, but sometimes you can use it for recording too. So the scenes is used to switch between uh, like things. Pretend uh, we want to uh, see this first with the display and with our faces, but then after that, we just want to see our faces or something. Then we can click on scenes, click plus right here, then click webcam, or type in any scene you want. Click webcam, uh, oh sorry, it already is in there, so we'll just name it face. No, we name it bun bun. No, it's not according. So once we name it face, we'll just click on webcam right here, click control C, go to face and click control V, and there we go, our face should appear. Um, and now you can see it's only our face. Oh, okay. It's We're in darkness. It's only our face, right? So uh, we can transition between uh, scenes throughout the stream, and so we can like pretend we're doing this right now, and then we just click face, and it just transitions to our face like this. Yeah, like we're doing an intro, and then we want to go. To yeah, the like scene. an intro, and then we go like, okay, let's go. Let's do an intro. Come on, let's do an intro. <laughs> okay, this is. Hi, it's Afi. This is a pretend intro. Okay, so. Hi, my name is Jemmy. And Hi, my name's Afi, and today we're going to be learning about ducks. No, no, no. And, and today we're going to be giving you a brief overview on blah, blah, blah. And then we, I can just switch to this scene again. I mean, that works, right? But it's mainly used for streams because in uh, yeah, editing, sure. uh, we can just, like, you know, put some clips together. But in streams, you can't because it's live. Um, also, we can do an outro, you know? Yeah, and through in here, in the scene transitions right here, we can choose what we want. Right now, it's currently on fade. This means that every time I switch between a scene, it will fade in and out. So like like this. But usually in my uh, videos, I have it on swipe because I think it looks pretty cool. Like this. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Let's see scene and let's see face. But there's like Luma wipe too, which is also pretty cool. Like so. It basically just it's like, like swipe. Yeah, but it's not uh, actually, it's kind of like, uh, how do you explain it? It just goes from here. It doesn't, 
the video doesn't move out this way, right? It just, yeah, it's just it like, crops in, yeah. yeah. But um, we can look at other ones too. Fade Do to color. Do you sting it? Fade to color is also pretty cool. You can see it just kind of morphs. It's kind anything. of it's kind of like fade, but it happens pretty quickly. It just morphs it into that color, so it's pretty seamless too. If you can't see anything, that means it's good because you know it's very seamless. Also, if you don't stinger. want any transition stinger, okay, let's do stinger. Okay, so we can do a stinger too. I'm not sure if it's pronounced stinger or stinger, but um, stinger can, obviously. You can switch. Uh, I don't know what this. Wait, is. what is it? Is it just like a? I think it's a hard cut, but then stinger and cut. What is the difference? Well, that's why they are called stinger. Uh, well, anyways, uh, let's move on. So that is the scene transitions. I will leave it on a uh, swipe right now. So yeah, once we're done with this. Uh, then we can uh, move on to the controls. So there is the start streaming, start recordings, and start virtual camera. Uh, I will only be talking about these two and this one right here. Uh, so start streaming is just going to stream, but there's a bit more steps. Uh, I will need to prepare that. So start recording on the other hand is pretty simple. You click on it, then it starts recording for you. You click on it again, then it will stop recording. But if I do that right now, my other <laughs> webcam is going to other recording software will stop so I can't um but yeah you can try it out it just click once it starts recording click stop it stops recording um like so and if you don't know where the output folder is then you can click on uh settings down here click on settings and then you can click on output then um you can select where you want to go so right now it's in my videos folder but I can like choose it to be in like my desktop or something and I can click select folder and it will be my desktop also the recording format right now is an mkb and mkb is also uh not compatible with premiere pro so i would recommend you changing it to mp4 it does give a warning that uh if the obs crashes then your uh video will not be saved however if you save it as mkb then or it was it mkb yeah, MKV. Okay. okay. If you save it as MKV and uh, OBS crashes, then then your video will still be saved. Um, but the bad thing about MKV is every time you want to put in Premiere Pro, you would have to go into a Format Factory and then change it from an MKV to an MP4. But I just recommend bad. you having it as MP4 because some videos you have it's very long and you want only like 30 seconds of it, so you process the whole thing and it takes like one hour. So it's not that great, um, honestly. So I'll Jenny, just have to check it as MP4. Yeah. I found a secret. What? Go into general. General. Look, you can change the theme. Yeah, <laughs> you want it. You want you want um. Rachani. You want system. You want system. Yeah. Oh! I don't like it. It's like it dis. It's eyes. like Discord bright mode. <laughs> you want to see what Discord bright mode is? Well, I'll I'll put a picture on it right now on the screen. It's really bright. People say it's used to kill your eyes. <laughs> but wait, wait, can you do Rachani? Rachani. No, rock me. Rock, rock, rock. Oh, it just changes it to. I don't like this one. Oh no. It, Whoa, it's... this is cool. I want this one. I'm gonna like use this it. one for my old one. Dark is the best. Can you do ah uh, ah. Uh, Dark is the best. No, we're not do... playing around the theme anymore. So in uh inside of settings we have the general, we have the language, the theme, as Afi said earlier. You can do acne. Yeah, but we're not doing that. <laughs> it's rockney, not acne. No, no, um, no, no, there's like one that starts with an A. And now let's look at videos. So in videos there is all these uh settings. I use my common FPS value as sixty. Uh some people would have it as thirty, but uh I'm pretty sure 60 is okay. I use 10. Since my CPU right now is not uh, too heavy, so uh, 60 is pretty good for me. Hey, Jenny, um, also, I use 10 FPS. Okay, also, there's this downscale filter, and I put it on the cubic since it is, uh, since it's the best one. Uh, and so is okay, um, but it's just the file size might be too big. Area and the linear is just too, like, too low quality for me, so I leave it as big cubic. Um, also, my settings are my opinion. However, I did did a lot of research on the OBS forum to make sure that it's you know going to make my videos come out like smoothly, not like just choppy. So now we can do look at the output again. And if we notice earlier, uh, we have this output mode as simple or advanced. If we take advanced, it's going to look a bit more like this. 
Um, but I am going to leave it as simple for now because I don't need to go into advanced. Um, and also the encoder should be your hardware and bank. Um, if you don't have it, then you can just do the software. It also works. And yeah, that is it. Uh, so now we can go into the streaming part. So we can click on stream. And in here, we can select what we want to stream with. There is Twitch, there is YouTube, Facebook, uh, Restream.io, Twitter. What's Restream? I don't know. Um, I never <laughs> used it. But I know Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. But um, we're going to be using YouTube today. So click on YouTube. And then in here, there's going to be a stream key that you need to insert. Uh, and this is, you need to go into your YouTube channel first. <clears throat> Let me go into mine. And now like I'm back. I'm awesome inside games. my... Oh, I'm inside of my YouTube channel. Uh, what I, now what I want to do... Let's or, watch your trailer, Jimmy. What no, is coding I, for kids? I don't know what stop. it is. Can I see? No. I don't okay, know what it is. Now though. what I want to do is we want to click on here, on your profile. Click... No, actually, we want to click on this camera. Click go live. Um, some of you might be new to streaming. So once you click on go live, sometimes if you never stream before, you have to wait 24 hours and then it will start for you. Uh, I don't know about that, but um, yeah. So it's going to load in for a bit. Uh, now we can see a page kind of like this. If you need to wait 24 hours, then just wait it out. Uh, come back to this video tomorrow. But yeah, it will come to a page like this and you can do a lot of stuff. Here is the stream key. Uh, we click copy and then we go into OBS. I'm not sure why it's still like that, but click pin to taskbar and then click on stream key, then paste your stream key into here, then click apply like so. And once you did that, you should be all good. Click OK. And once you hit start streaming, you should be streaming. But I'm too scared to click on that button. <laughs> okay, let, what if I click start streaming? I mean, would it work? Do if want, I have to record this video it? again, then I'm not going to. Okay, well, we're, then we're not going to do it. But if you click start streaming, then um, if you come back into this page, then it should be like seeing your screen, your face, or whatever is currently on your screen. Um, and it will just have a lot of stuff. And then here you can edit uh, your title, descriptions, uh, thumbnail. your thumbnail category etc but um today we're not going to be doing that i will be showing you around obs and yeah that is it for today's video um i showed you how to stream how to record and the face cam chroma key and how to display capture yep and yeah so see you in the next video and i'm going to show you theme for obs